Today I want to speak about guarding the good deposit. You know, in 2 Kings chapter 11, verses 7 to 8, the temple officers, including the Kohen Gadol and, and the others, are actually uh, forming a kind of, of protective uh, perimeter around the Ben Dovid because uh, the, uh, the, the, the really wicked people, and some of them uh, overstepped what God wanted them to do, had just about destroyed the uh, line of David, meaning if they had succeeded, we would all be lost because there would be no Ben Dovid who would come, make the Kippurah, and stand up alive on Yom HaShilishi. And so uh, when, you, when you see these guys in 2 Kings chapter 11, verses 7 to 8, guarding the one remaining Ben Dovid, and all the promises, uh, all, all, all of the genealogical links that would go to Miriam in Luke chapter 3 and to Joseph Ben Dovid in uh, uh, Matthew chapter 1. In other words, Miriam bought Dovid and Joseph Ben Dovid so that he could be Yeshua Ben Dovid. Uh, all, all of those things are hanging by a thread here because somebody guarded what was entrusted to him. And what I, what I want to speak to you today is about guarding what's entrusted to you. And one of the things that's entrusted to you is that Mashiach uh, stood up alive on the third day of 1 Corinthians chapter 15. This is the Basur Sagel law that was, uh, that was handed, off, handed over to me, handed over to me through the scriptures, but handed over to Rav Shaul by the Shulhim and by Moshiach himself on the Damascus road that, that Ben Dovid would uh, go up. He would stand up on the Yom HaShilishi. You say, yes, but but you're, 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 go you're going beyond the Tanakh here. You're giving us uh, something that's really not endemic to the to Tanakh itself. Uh, all right, well, let, let's see if that's really true. Go to, uh, 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 go to 2 Kings ch chapter 20, verse 8. By uh, your mayor, uh, he's Kiyahu, this is uh, uh, Hezekiah, El Yeshaya, that's to, to I, Isaiah. So Hezekiah says to Isaiah, Ma'ot, what sign? Notice the word sign is a spectacular miracle. It's not in, in, any run of the mill young girl having uh, a baby. It, it, this is a, the, ha, the Alma, young unmarried virgin. This is the word in Isaiah 7, 14. Well, here it is in uh, 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 8. Uh, he's, a, he's asking Isaiah, what sign ki yirpa that uh, Adonai will heal uh, me uh, uh, and I will go up by Yom HaShilishi on the third day. You know, he's already told him, he says, you're going to die and not live. Now, uh, he's asking, wait a minute, I'm going to die and not live. Well, if I'm going to die and not live, and then you're saying that you're going to give me, or God's going to give me 15 more years, well, what's the sign uh, that I will uh, go up uh, on the third day to the base of Mikdash? Uh, that, I, that I will stand up. Uh, that I will stand up on the third day. Notice the, the all-important third day. Everything happens on the third day. Uh, on the third day, you have the first fruits. And of course, uh, Moshiach is the first fruits of those that stand up alive from the dead. He, he's, he's the first fruits. Uh, look at uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 12. And really, you need to look at it in the Orthodox Jewish Bible. Also, um, uh, on the third day, Abraham uh, gets his son back from the dead. Genesis 22. On the third day, Pharaoh releases the chief cupbearer from death row. Uh, this is uh, Genesis chapter 40. On the third day, Yosef ben Yaakov releases his brothers from prison. Uh, on the third day, um, 
the, uh, the, you have the plague number nine, uh, where the enemies are put in darkness. The, uh, you know, uh, on the third day, God comes down. He gives the Aseris Hadabros, Exodus chapter 19. So here in Exodus chapter 10 and Exodus chapter 19, you have this all important third day. Then the Israelites purify themselves after they contact the dead. Numbers 19 verse 12. Uh, on the third day, uh, uh, Joshua, his spies come out of hiding. And, uh, and of course, they're going across the Jordan to the promised land. So for them, the third day is like the opening of, of the promised land dream world that they're going to be walking into. It's a picture of, of eternal life. Haye Olam. On the third day, chapter 20, verse 8 of, of 2 Kings, you have the scripture that I just read to you. Uh, on the third day, Jonah is expelled from death. Uh, on the third day, uh, Esther uh, saves the, the, uh, his, her people from the, from the Holocaust annihilation that, that uh, is planned by their enemies. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. So uh, are, are, you, are, you, are you protecting the good deposit? Are you preaching the Basur Sagar Allah? That Mashiach died and made his kippura, uh, according to the scriptures, and that he stood up alive, Ben Dovid, like Hezekiah, stood up alive on the third day, hallelujah, recovering from his illness. And of course, the worst illness you can have is death itself. And, and fulfilling uh, Psalm 16, he would not see the shahat, the rigor mortis, the uh, pollution, the, the, the decay of death but that he would stand up, that on the third day, the Lord would raise us up because we've been justified. What does it say in Isaiah 53? That, that he, he carries our sins, but my righteous servant will justify many. Uh, when does he justify many? After Hashem looks upon his nephesh, the Hashem guilt offering, after Hashem is satisfied, after his kever and all of that is over with, it says that that he he will he will lengthen his days. Well, if your days are lengthened, lengthened after you're in the kever, then friend, that can only mean that that the ben dovid. And by the way, Isaiah 53 is talking about the ben dovid, which I can't go into now, but I've proven that many times from the book of Isaiah. That really, uh, the book of Isaiah is interested in nothing but the, the Ben Dovid ultimately, because th that's, that's the picture we have of our, our, our Moshiach, our Savior, the one who delivers us from, from Gehinom, from the, the, the maggot that never dies. The last verse uh, uh, in uh, Isaiah, which is about Sheol. So what am I talking about today? I'm talking about what we have to do. When we get out on the street, we have to put these scriptures for the Jewish people to look at. We've got to have a great big uh, sign with all of these references. And, and we've got to show them uh, that don't, don't, be, don't be blind. See Hezekiah as he really is. He is a sign man. He's a sign. He's the son of David. It looks like he's going to die. Then he's raised up on the third day. That is a sign to you. Mm -hmm. Mashiach and the third day. Can you say amen?